It's for supporters and opponents of President Donald Trump. The rallies happen a half mile away from each other in Buffalo. It all happened this afternoon. Good evening, everyone. I'm Claudine Ewing. It was quite a scene, and as two on your sides, Leanne Stuck tells us, sparks went off when some opponents left their rally and went to the supporters. Well, I came here for a peaceful rally, a peaceful Trump rally. Two rallies, one for supporters and one for opponents of President Donald Trump were scheduled half a mile away in Buffalo. Both rallies were at the same time. Opponents were set to rally on Bidwell and supporters at Colonial Circle, but they quickly collided. And I didn't think that uh, they were supposed to be over here in this rally. I thought they were supposed to be on Bidwell. Opponents went to Colonial Circle causing tension. Early on, a fight broke out. And he said, you know what I hate about liberals? I said, what's that? Before he answered, he cold cocked me on the side of the head. After the altercation, there was a large police presence at Colonial Circle. The road was blocked and more than 30 officers created a human barricade separating supporters and opponents. But I am definitely a Trump supporter because I want our economy. I want the kids to be OK. I want um, legal immigration. Just to uh, come out and show some support for, for, for my brothers and sisters of different color and religions. And you know, we're a diverse country, so I'm just out here to show support. One of the points of contention was immigration. And if they come through this country legally and go through our proper immigration process and become American citizens, welcome aboard. God bless, come on in. No one, no one becomes a refugee by choice. Um, people who are being driven out of their countries because of policies that have wrecked their economies. As chants became louder and louder, Buffalo police brought out a high-powered speaker in case the situation escalated. I'm about ready to go because I don't want no confrontation. The protest went on for nearly four hours, but ended peacefully. And Buffalo police knew about the rallies in advance and spoke with leaders to make sure they remained peaceful ahead of the rallies. And a spokesperson for the city of Buffalo tells me that neither rally had permits. Leon Stock, Channel 2 News.